Yes. Many residents chose to stay. A lot of people want to stay in their houses, quite stoic uh, about the fact that it's their house. Um, and, and I think whilst the, the weather's good, it's a nice warm, dry day, they'll be fine. It's when the, the day time's the present evening, it starts to get dark, uh, if the power goes off, and that's when people will stay quite quickly. This morning, emergency services will be de evacuating homes at risk after the river Foss breaks its banks in a number of areas. Such is the scale of the situation in North Yorkshire. Police requested assistance from all the rescue services and the army. We're dealing with a very dynamic situation as we have been uh, over the past few days. Uh, and uh, it's all about what the water does. Um, and it's all about the support uh, of the environment agency. The police and everyone who's pulling together needs to get back to normality. Oh, 
parts of Leeds city centre were also off limits after the river air breached its banks, turning roads into rivers. We've decided to deploy more military resources, more military personnel uh, to help. But let me say, the emergency services have done this before and continue to do so. They deserve a full basic But of course, at this time, yes, the environment agency says river levels could rise by another half of the you can see we've been moved across the streets for safety reasons really uh, that water level is still coming up i was speaking to uh, a resident who just lived on the opposite side of the street and he told me that uh, he thinks that the level will stabilize later this afternoon that's what the army has told him the real concern is tomorrow though because it's the river ooze that's the next uh, tomorrow afternoon he's expecting a, a, a bit of a surge here so that's when properties could go under uh, currently, the river level on the ooze is at 4.9 metres.